Hi, this is Yungun. Today I'm going to introduce the best place to sleep when you go to Gyeongju. When you, it's called Tobong Sadang, and it's one kind of it's kind of a temple stay. When you see two o'clock, you will see that four tombs, and that's the place where you're going to sleep. And you're going to go through this very nice, beautiful road with the cherry blossoms. This is a site with five royal tombs of Shilla Dynasty. And they're not sure whose tomb this is for sure for now because there's no records, but they assume that this is the very important tomb of Shilla Dynasty's five kings. They're assuming, they're not sure about that. There is a pond here like this, and when at the next morning, try to walk around and maybe there's some people fishing here also and try to walk around, it's very beautiful. And this village was invested by another company and they changed this older roof in black and it's very harmonized traditional village in Korea. You can make a reservation in any like hotels.com, trip.com or whatever. Try to search called Tobong Sodang and you will find the place. See the spellings? And you can sleep in this Tobong Sodang, you can sleep in Yonaje. In Tobong Sodang, a maximum of six people can stay. And that one is the shrine, you can't sleep there. And this is called Chuboje. And I slept here. Uh, for a maximum of four people can sleep, two each at each room. And I slept in the right room right there. And there's a very nice courtyard, and this is one of the traditional Koreans' traditional layout of a building. They always have this kind of a courtyard at the middle. And you can see that my kid is jumping around and they're playing like that automatically. And I can say that it's a very nice architecture because there are the barometers of a very exciting moment. At the front yard, you can see there's a very nice front yard, and in the next morning, Try to sit down at the table and have a morning coffee. And this is the scene of my room I'm looking at Yonoje. And at the edge of this roof that night, it was raining and I was listening to this uh, raindrops. It's one of our unforgettable memories in Gyeongju. Then the next morning, my wife, friend's wife is reading a book and my wife was touching the trees and she was looking at the scattered suns through these leaves. And this was really one of the places I really didn't want to leave. It was a very nice place to experience this uh, Korea's Yangban culture, which is uh, aristocrat in Korea. And this is a very rare site, or a very rare hotel in front of these royal tombs. You know, a very quiet village. You have to experience this village. Try to walk around and have a walk in this village. And I think flew my drones into the mountains which, which I was uh, looking and I was trying to look beyond what's over there and this is the scene. Do you see what I see?